can parents uh, teach their kids, um, you know, this is not the way to go, there's a better way, uh, or, you know, if you are going to go through this, keep these things in your mind, because obviously you cannot live uh, in a different space than your friends or your community. So what kind of advice could you give it to the parents? Well, I think the first thing is lead by example. You know, the kids hear everything you say. If you draw a line in the sand and say, okay, there's gonna be co negative consequences if you cross this line, and they cross the line, don't just draw another line further out because they won't believe what you're saying. Kids really appreciate boundaries. They respect people that respect them and that are honest to them. I'd say be honest with your kids. Don't talk to kids like they're dumb and they're younger than you and you don't need to know why. Just be very forthcoming. You know, if they're saying, okay, uh, mom, I want this thing, and well, you know what? We can't afford this right now. Here's what's going on at work. Talk to them like an adult. But what can we do in order to get you these things in the future? We can be excited about things that are coming. It's not about instant gratification. Mm. I think that to teach them these things and do them yourself is the, is the key to it all. Because the kids have to trust you and appreciate your role as a parent to prepare them for adulthood. It's not to be their buddy and to be their friend. And that's all nice. It's great. But when my kids were growing up, I was, you know, my, my goal is to prepare you for the future, not to get you to be my best friend. And they didn't always appreciate my lines in the sand or me taking their things away or you know, I would break their, their things. If they argued, I, they would have electronic toys and they would be fighting over it in the back seat. I'd say, give me that. And I'd literally throw it out the window on the freeway. And that would hurt their heart. They'd be like, ooh, I can't get that back. That's done. Or I would go in their room and they're fighting over something, I snap a, a, one of their discs. They're like, oh, that broke my heart. That can't be replaced. You got that from another country. I don't even know the name of it, but it was fun. But they learned really quick about sharing and caring with each other. And if they started going down that road, they would immediately say, hey, this no is, more. This is disciplining. Uh, Discipline you know. is missing for the most part in today's society. And and people look at discipline in a very negative way these days it says you know we shouldn't be doing that we are in, in, in interfering with their growth and all that kind of nonsense have come in but it's discipline nonsense. is a requirement it's absolute requirement listen either you know what's best for your child or they know what's best for themselves do you think they know what's best for themselves at three years old when they're on the ground kicking and screaming and you say you know what if I, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to shove a cookie in their mouth. Or uh, if you're good, just for a few minutes, daddy will take you to the store to buy you a toy. That's not the right answer. It, you get rewarded for good behavior. You don't get rewarded for stopping bad behavior. It's, I think it's, it's misaligned and it's, it's a problem uh, throughout the world. It's a problem. Now, I'm not saying you need to physically abuse your kids in any way. Some people believe in, in spankings, yeah, yeah, some exactly. people don't believe in spankings. I just believe in drawing the line. Whatever you decide to do is your choice. It's boundaries. But you don't need, obviously you don't need to hit your kids with a belt or, a, you know. <laughs> this is what happened back in the day, in at least in the United States. You know, if you lived in the country, you would say, okay, I need you to go get a switch off the tree, which is a, a limb that I'm going to hit you with. That's abusive and that's, that's not necessary. But being honest with your kids and saying, okay, look, we're on our way to an amusement park. You're fighting in the back of the car. I'm not threatening anymore. I'm just turning the car around and, and going home. We're, we're at the movies right now. You're arguing. We're going to leave the movies. I don't care if we bought the ticket. I'll go get a refund and go home. It's, it's good for me that you learn these things. Mm -hmm. And the more times and the more consistent you are, the better your parenting skills are and the more they'll learn these things and become adults that are prepared for the world. If you just give your kids everything and do everything for them, they're not learning anything. They're not prepared. And the world doesn't care about them as much as you do. So when they go out into the world, when they're not prepared, they're going to get hit by these tidal waves of, holy crow, I am not prepared for this. Why didn't I learn these? Why didn't my parents tell me to rinse my dishes off or to do my own laundry? Just because we have somebody else that can do it doesn't mean you need to call in your housekeeper from the other room and say, hey, can you get me some water that's right there? That's the wrong way to do it. 
It's, hey, I appreciate I've got this. I don't need to, to abuse these folks by, by doing that. That's not what they're for. And I, and I find that, that here specifically is an issue.